and hello again, Internet. Again. Well, here we are with Catacomb Abyss, part of Catacomb Adventures. Now, this was a... Um, the three games there, Abyss, Armageddon, and Apocalypse, were all part of Catacomb Adventures. It looks like the first episode, which we're going to get into today, was the shareware episode, and the other two were the ones that you had to buy. Now, this was not released by the people who went on to make id Software, so you're not going to see John Camerick, you're not going to see Romero, Hall, those names. They were off doing other projects. In fact, at this time, they were probably working on Wolfenstein 2. Instead, this was done by a new group for Soft Disk. Remember that, back in the Gaming Edge thing. This is done as part of that. And these people went on to do games like Blake Stone, which we've seen on this show, and in fact, I was quite happy with that game. Uh, yeah, there's a nice little phone number there. Don't bother calling it. The stuff doesn't exist anymore. You can see the names of the people involved there. 3D Imaging Effects by id Software. But as you can see, the Catacomb 3D Adventures are these three games together. And each one takes place in a different time period. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the... Um, the Warrior, yes. We're going to jump into this shareware version here. Ah, you stand before the gate leading to the Town Cemetery. Tony, Tony, because ye old English. What is this, a Warner Brothers cartoon? See, I have to make the same jokes as I made in my previous recording. They don't sound as good the second time. Oh, well. Night is falling as mournful wails mingle with the sound of your pounding heart. Equipped with your wits and the secret knowledge of magic, you venture forth on your quest to upset the dark schemes of Nemesis. Your arch rival, possibly your nemesis. Hmm, hmm. Let's go ahead and jump in. Now, the first thing I got to do is when I get in here, I'm going to have to hit F2 to bring up the sound thing. Warrior. So, F2. I pressed F2. Can I get sound, please? And we want ad lib sound. Yeah, this is kind of bad. Collect the zappers. Now, the zappers are bolts. Um. There, good. Oh, hello, zombie. Yeah, the sound effects are far worse in this one than they were in the other, and I don't know why that is. Also, you can blow up the potions and the uh, scrolls, so you got to be careful. Oh, look at that! I mean, look at it. it tells you you're turning, you're viewing, you're advancing, you're shooting. Oh, that's awful. Okay, so. Collect the zappers and cure potions in this area. Be ready with the control and Z key as you venture beyond. Save as you go. So it's trying to tell you stuff down there. And one of the things it's telling you is that this wall is weak. So let's shoot through it. Weakened walls. I don't know why the sound effects are so much worse in this one. More weakened walls. Okay, what do we got? A family plot. And oh, the grave keeper, the, the, the grave digger keeps the key to the garden with his pet bats. Well, that's not really useful, is it? So I got, you know, I thought it was bad enough in the other game that had just the sound effects going on and on, or the music, that little 12 second loop. But silence is even worse. I don't know why. Oh, God! I don't know why this one is... Don't miss the purple gym in this region. What? Private plots. Ah! See, this one's got different UI. You can see the... Um, words as I get distracted by things trying to kill me. You can see the actual life totals on your well totals total singular on the screen you know instead of just the skeleton which honestly was probably a better system because you had a certain number of hits each each hit was taking a certain percentage of that off so you could kind of tell you had like five or six hits and this is just this is kind of awful so far oh this is bad this is really bad I honestly don't know why the end... And look at that. It takes... Every time you collect the treasure, the game pauses. What the hell? 
at least we kind of know which one of these are... Oops, I sh see, I shot the treasure. I blew it up. Awesome. And they changed the, the words of things. Instead of bolt, it's zapper. Instead of nuke, it's exterminate, which you press X to do. And you press Z for the zapper, hence the names. Pauper's gravesite. If it's a pauper's gravesite, why is there... Okay, so the treasure is st stuff. It's not points, it's bolts and such. But why not just give me the freaking bolt spell instead of having it behind a treasure chest? This is dumb. I'm already down to 35% health. Maybe I should be on novice. You used a green key! Yikes. Grip diggers storage. Bats. Why does he have so many bats? Can I sidestep? Yes, I can. Oh, so these things give you several. That's why. Look at look at all that stuff I just got in there. So don't you don't want to shoot the treasure chest. You actually do want to collect them in this game. Okay, let's save. You know, it's kind of sad. They had an engine that really did work decently, and they went backwards on it for this game, for this version. I don't know why. I mean, I do prefer this GUI with the numbers instead of the scrolls that... the pips that eventually... Oh, uh, you have too many of them. I don't like the fact that these zombies keep popping up like that. I'm not sure why some of these choices were made. Like, the, oh, I'm sidestepping. I'm advancing. I'm turning. That's dumb. All of this is dumb. Here we are in Shinbun Alley. Don't miss the purple gem in this region. Use the red key. How are you supposed to know that's a red? Now there's the purple gem. See, I want to back out so I don't shoot the stuff that I want to collect. The mausoleum Bly, or lies behind, beyond the garden to the east. Okay. God, you get a lot of stuff from these. Alright, that should be everything in here. The, the mausoleum lies behind, beyond the garden to the east. So, let's go east and take a look. And let's actually save the game again. Yes! Overwrite it. Which you'll notice doesn't matter if it's caps or not. And that's probably being written in the good old fashioned DOS 8 characters. Probably plus SAV. Okay, so... We don't have a compass this time, we have this kind of map thing. There it is. Garden entrance. Was that here before? I don't remember it. Oh, did I actually go to this far down? I don't think I did. I think I got to uh, Heaven's Gate and that was about it. No, I, I went down here. How the hell did I miss this then? Yes. You used the blue key! You have arrived at the Garden of Tears. A new level, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and save the game again because... Oh, this is kind of awful. Anything around here? Health and a monster. Or a statue of a monster. Health and statue of a monster. Statue of a monster? Statue of a monster. This is fun. I hope those things don't come alive and try to eat me. Really hope those things don't try to come alive and eat me. 
A garden of tears to expose your fears. Lovely. Oh, it rhymes. How cute. Map down there is more of a compass anyway. And yeah, the, the, the pip there is north, which is the... Ow! It's not pointing at anything in particular, it's just north. Man, I do not like this. I really don't like this one. Um, hi. I have to be more careful about just spamming the attack here, because I don't want to blow up useful things. And I also should keep my eyes on the radar down there. That's what that is. Radar. There we go. Because it shows me where things are popping up. Gee, I wonder if I can blow that wall up. Oh, hi. Where did you come from? What the hell? Is it behind me now? And you'll see my face gets uh, worse and worse as I get hurt here. Okay, space heal? Yeah, and it fully heals me, so... I've got 13 potions right now. I want that number to be as high as possible. Remember what I said about not liking having hidden areas be required? Uh, okay, hand, come down. There you go. What the hell is it stuck up there for? Well, it's giving me lots and lots of the nukes and bolts, but I only ever use those against the boss anyway. Ah, one behind me. <sighs> Spawning behind me enemies. I hate that! Entrance to a forgotten storage room. However, I have no key for it. And I can't tell what key I'm supposed to use, because there's no color coding on it. I'd have to walk up to it, and, oh, I need a yellow key. Thank you. I wish I could have... You know, you, you can't just show me that. Woo! Lots of enemies here. Lots of enemies popping up. Why are there so many zombies right there? So I can't tell if I'm defeating that or what the deal is. Health. And stuff. Field of size. Who comes up with these names? It's dumb. Now there's that yellow key. Okay, what do all these signs say? A garden of tears, expose your fears, garden of tears, entrance to the mausoleum grounds. Oh, these are all going to be the same thing because, again, this is one of these games where all of these blocks are the same on all four sides. These maps are done in a grid like that. Early games. It just made more sense. Yeah, I got the key. I might as well use it. You've used a yellow key. Forgotten storage room. Eh, I got a demon thing in here. Shadow. Why? Why are you here? What? What? What is the red key for? I haven't seen any other doors. I'm also wondering if there's like 
a reason for the gyms. Do we need all five gyms? Hello there. I guess I haven't been this way yet. The twisting hedges. These don't look like hedges to me. Yep, crap. Blew up an item. Should be more careful. Just because I see something doesn't mean I have to shoot it. To actually watch my shots. Game is weird. Unstable walls. Oh, I must have already shot it though. Well, I don't know where any. You know what? I'm gonna guess that I need this key to get into the mausoleum. Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, let's go this way. Use the red key. Yep. So you needed to find the secrets to get in here. I don't like that. We've arrived at the mausoleum grounds. How can they take a game, an engine and all that, that's already done, and go backwards to make a sequel? How does that work? Okay, I get it. There's zombies. Do we have anything other than zombies around here? And so far, we've had zombies, shadows, and bats. Dedicated to the nemesis and his great evil. Well, lovely. Graves of Sacrificial Offerings. Forgotten musty corridors. Ow. Ah! Okay, we got something new. The skeleton warrior! Oh, it's a lot of skeletons! Oh, God, where did you come from? I thought I killed you and all your friends. How did you guys not kill me when you gang-banged me in the corner like that? At least this game is differentiating the um, breakable walls to the non-breakable ones. You can actually tell the difference. So that's not as bad as just straight up secrets that you're looking for. And the dead rise again. So this just shows that even as kind of bad as that other id software game was, it's better than this. They had a better sense of game design. That's why they're game gods. Well, yeah, just blew that thing up. Yeah, but contrast and compare sometimes. Okay, I don't want to blow the potion up. Yeah, my opinion of id Software has been increasing as I've been playing more and more of these games. Because seeing what other people do with their engines like this, how, how did they go this far backwards? Sometimes you just got to wonder why they make the choices they made. Uh-oh. Woo, I hit that one about just in time. Where'd that skeleton go? Oh, it's dead. I'm behind the mausoleum. Okay. Wonderful. How does that help me?
I wish these things would quit spawning. It's like either be there or not. Don't don't. Well, zombies crawling out of the ground is a thing, I guess. Oh, see, that's what I don't want. I'm gonna just shot one of my health potions. No, I apparently I missed. I didn't. Okay, so I went all the way around here for those two health potions. At least I only used one on the path. I can type. Don't mock me. Hmm. You hear I like, sounding less and less enthused as I play this one. And while we have not together looked at Wolfenstein 3D, we did take a look at Spear of Destiny, which, you know, is the sequel. So we've seen the conventions that that game actually does have. And my god, are they better than this. So at least they understood and made a better game, whereas... Why is anything in this game a thing? Did I go this way yet? I don't think I went this way yet. No, yeah, yes I did, there's nothing there. Okay, so I think I've explored this map. Used the red key. I saw the yellow key, I don't know what floor. I've arrived at the main floor of the mausoleum. Good, heaven forbid, you know. So now we're inside. Now we saw how big the mausoleum was on the outside. We walked all the way around it. Hello, people. Can I actually go back? No, I can't. It is a one-way trek, this game. Portrait Nemesis the Evil One. Ow, don't shoot me while I can't shoot you. Fine, you know what? I'll blow one of them up. Since you weren't going to come out and fight me, I'll blow one of these bolt things or zappers up. Get back here. Where are you going? Fortunately, they don't do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, they do damage. Poorly constructed. Oh, God! Where are you? Did you go back in here? You did. Okay, well, this place sucks. Next. Also, hi, Z. I see you there. Man. Ah, uh, this is just not good. So again, I do get what they were trying to do with these types of games. Like, this is more of an attempt at, well, a dungeon crawler than a first-person shooter. This is before they really knew about first-person shooters. They kind of had no idea about the concept. Because they hadn't existed yet. Whereas games such as, I think Dragon Wars came out before this. But, you know, this is... <laughs> Way back when I first did the show, I was comparing roleplay games done in first-person shooter engines. And I didn't really realize it when I made that those videos, those choices of what games to play, that... First-person shooters got their start as roleplay games. 
the very earliest examples. This, Ultima Underworld. That really is what they are, what they started out to be. And it wasn't until the slightly later games, like Wolfenstein and Doom, that we started seeing actual shooters. Now, hey, that's why I'm playing these older games, to get that to get that sense of history. You know, to put it in perspective of what was available when, what happened, how did these games change and evolve into what we play today. And I personally think it's fascinating that, oh, so they didn't really know what they had at the time. Which is why this kind of sucks, let's be honest. This is pretty awful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course that was going to happen. Get back here. You die. <gasps> cool. How many more of those are there? So it's kind of strange to see just how long people have been trying to make a, a good first-person RPG. And yeah, of course, there are games like the Elder Scroll series, Arena, Daggerfall, and on. Okay, well, I got another gem, at least. I'm getting a lot of those zappers. A lot of zappers. Like, enough zappers that the game is basically saying, start using them. But why? This basic fireball is so much stronger that it's not worth using... Well, it's not so much stronger. But it is so strong, period, that there's no point in using... What, what does that say? Don't miss the red gym in this region. Yeah, I think you already got it. Okay, well, let's go to the next floor. Access to the crypt. And I used a yellow key. I still have a yellow key. Crypt of Nemesis the Undead. Alright, lovely. Save. So yeah, I really am going to have to start looking at more of the... Hey, cool, pentagrams. I am going to have to start looking at more of the RPGs. Because, well, I mean, this is what these games are. So they'll, they will be on the side streams, which I've started doing. Once I finish XCOM 2, I'm out. Oh, dang it, I just blew up the treasure chest. That's not good. Yeah, once I finish XCOM 2, I will possibly jump into... Maybe Elder Scrolls Arena would be a good one. The sacrificial Altar holds the key to this region below the crypt. Okay, well, thank you. Unfortunately, I blew up the chest in here. Oh, hey, more stuff. Oh, hey, a demon. Let's not blow up this chest, shall we? As if I don't have enough things. I mean, I got freaking 31 health potions, even. So far, I've used one. Not from lack of trying on the enemy's part, but even on Warrior here, they're just not doing much. Let's collect this before there, before I blow it up. See? Why would I use Bolt when I can just do that?
Man, Nemesis is going to get so wrecked. Hmm, kind of surprised there's nothing in there. This is not a difficult game. Cool. Sacrificial altar room. Bloody mess. I approve. I mean, for what they are, these graphics aren't terrible. Like This one actually thinks takes up two squares. That's kind of impressive. Okay, we'll key get. Let's keep going. In the hidden chambers, of course, which I don't like it when things are hidden. But these are about the least hidden, hidden things ever, so. Not a whole lot to say, just kind of wandering and exploring, looking for things. Messing my plans. Yeah, might as well heal soon. Alright, so what, I'm back to the front room. Joy. Uh, was I stuck on the wall there? Yeah, I think this is a... No, I'm... S they've at least improved this. I can slide along the wall. That's an improvement to the engine. So it's not like everything in this is a step backwards. I mean, there is some new stuff in here that I do like. I think it's a little over generous. There. Full health. Yay! Save the game. Keep going. So, ooh. About to ask where have I not been yet, but it would appear to be this way. Judging by the fact that there are a whole bunch of skeletons who've decided that they don't want to kill me now that they've seen me. Poor skeletons. You know, I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a skeleton living inside of you right now. Oh, wait. There you go. Something was poking me. Ah, I knew there'd be someone around this corner. There we go. So I wonder if these things max out at 99. Or if it'll just stop displaying there and it'll keep going. Or if the game will crash! That's a possibility too! It's always a possibility to have the game crash on you. Try to get it so that I don't accidentally shoot through him and destroy the potions. As if I needed, you know, more. But whatever. That's good. We're good. We're moving on. 
This game's progressing quickly enough, I think. Pass this way, yes! Descent to the Den of Zombies. We are getting some more diversity in the environments. I don't like these monocolor floor and ceiling, though. But then again, I think Wolfenstein had that also. At least they're changing colors. Well, hello. Nice bloody... Are those supposed to be bloody walls or burning walls? Ow, ow. Where did you come from? The ground, of course. Nope, oh, zombie. I have no idea what's up with any of this. Is that supposed to be... Is this fire? Or... Well, it's not hurting me, but... What about... Chamber of Many Bones? Hmm, lovely. Hi there! Whoa! Okay, these guys are coming out of the walls! Coming out of the walls! Coming out of the goddamn walls! And yet they're barely doing anything to me. That is a lot of skeletons. Are they done? Well, that was actually interesting. Oh! Hello. Hi. Are we done yet? And if I come back out here, is this... No, it's been opened now. Interesting. So we have kind of doors. And, okay, those things are popping out of that. Well played, game. That I approve of. See? This game did do some interesting stuff. Just took this far to get into it. The smell of death. Man, look at how many skeletons are in this room. Please tell me you died. Thank you. Well, I mean, again. Okay, now you're going to pop out of the wall. I said you're going to pop out of the wall. You guys... So, um... Ooh. Ah! You guys don't pop out of the wall, you are the wall. Chamber of good things. And you. Who are not gonna pop out at me, apparently. Alright, well, whatever. Cool! I like! I like that! There's an actual detail in this game that I approve of. As an RPG, it's terrible, though. There's no experience points. A large, dusty room. Come on, get out of there. I, I can see you guys. Just pop out and let me kill you. Look, I'll stand right here. There you go. Come at me, bro. There's still you, and you, and you over there, and you and you and everyone else. Yeah, you guys aren't going to pop out till I do something. All right, well, I did that. Now are you going to pop out? Nope. You guys did. So there's another one there. Another one over there. Key room. When I get the key, that's when everything else is going to pop out. What? Where? Who's hitting me? Oh, apparently one of them popped out right on top of me. Fun. So I need to be more careful about hiding in corners.
No, I guess the rest aren't going to come out after me. Weird. Let's see what's in this side now. There you are. I knew you'd come after me. I'm surprised you haven't yet. Does that mean that's not a splody wall there? Huh. Yay, hidden treasure room! Did I get all of them? Looks like it. These guys don't show up on the radar, that sucks. Zombies show up as purple, bats show up, the cultists show up, zombies don't show up on the radar, or skeletons don't show up on the radar. Ah, well. Okay, well, that should be it for that. Which means I think I've done about, as all, there, about all there is to do on this floor. I can get back out. See, that was the way out, or way in, so that must be the way out. I probably needed to collect that key to do it. And away we go! So, subterranean vault now. Oh, hi. Okay, we are moving forward. I saw that yellow key. I apparently can keep the keys from the previous floor, so I could skip a floor... Because I have an extra key. Anti chamber of the subterranean vault. Eh. What if those are randomized? Oh, hi there! We got someone new! He's big, too. And, of course, now all the demons are... Er, skeletons are popping out of the walls right as this demon's coming. Are they all dead? Oh, there we go. Did they even hurt me? I don't think they did. Ah, uh, well, that was fun. Yeah, these things just don't do any damage to you if you keep shooting them. So, yay. Ah, there we go. There's 99. Is that going to be all of them? Okay, let's see what happens. I'm going to collect this. Okay, are we done with... Nope, guess we're not done with them yet. Any more of you guys are going to be there. Okay. 
Okay, so I have 99. Nope, 99 is the max. Because I've collected one and it did not increase it. But it collected, so it wasted it entirely. Wish it would just stay on the floor if you collect it when you're maxed out, but nope, nope, it wasted entirely. Oh no, I shot the potion! I think this, are these things growing in the walls? Cause I thought that one popped up. Yeah, well, whatever. We are in the bone chamber. Where surprisingly there are skeletons. Never would have expected skeletons in a bone chamber. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on my health down there. These guys really don't do much. Well, well, well. See? Chamber of the Well. Let's see what happens when I jump down it, shall we? Oh, wait. More stuff. Oh, hi there! halfway toward maximum potions. I might as well use more once in a while. Okay, let's see what's in the Well of Souls. You have arrived at an ancient aqueduct. And I'm actually in the water. Huh. Just, you know, shift it down a little bit. Nice. This is an element of dimension that the previous game didn't have, at least. That's actually kind of cool. Like, for the limitation that this engine has, this is actually kind of decent. Did that enemy just flip me off? Don't miss the blue gym in this region. Okay. So I gotta make sure I get the blue gym before I leave. That is important. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna want all five of those gems. And I might have missed a few already. Oh, I do hope I can finish this before too terribly long. I mean, I do have another hour of recording, but after that, I do have to leave today for more appointments. So, yeah. I am going to look around as much as I can. I want to find that blue gem. Come on. I don't like I don't like enemies that you can't shoot for a while. And that's you know, Blake Stone had them, so you can see the influence there. But I like this. They can actually kind of fake the water just by having all of the walls have a water effect down at the bottom, have the floor be the same color as the water effect. And have enemies like that, have just changed the graphics for the chests and all that. And you fake being underwater in a 2.5D game. In a game with the flat plane. It's one of these workarounds. You know how much I love these workarounds. So I approve. Two 
too much stun lock though. These guys. You there's the blue gem. So now I gotta get the heck out of here. And again, at least this one, the quote hidden unquote areas really not very hidden, so I don't mind it. It was actually again an improvement over the previous game. And if I end up with 99, 99, 99, I'm going to be sad. This is the harder difficulty I'm on. I'm just sitting here bashing both control buttons to fire as quickly as possible. You might also notice that there's a uh, rather lack of depth of colors in here. About 16, maybe. They do a good job with them, though. I mean... I'm used to 16 color games. Like I said, I've played on a Tandy 1000. 16 was what I had on that. It was impressive back then, and... I'm... I've not had any real complaints about the color depth of this so far. They're, they're using their limited resources very well. So the graphics, despite how absolutely limited they are, are actually really good for what it is, what's available. So there are a lot of things that I do like about this game. Would I have played this shareware and gone, man, I need to buy those other two episodes? Probably not. Actually, 92? Well, nah, maybe. It is fairly complex for 92. Conduit to the orc mines. Let's keep going. It's far from the best game I've ever played, but for when this came out, yeah, I can see it. So the green gym is in here, so I gotta look for that. And I hope I didn't miss a gym. Again, you'll notice there's a larger depth of environments in this. I'm also noticing this. How this has a one graphics on one direction and one graphic on another direction. Now, you'll note that all of the red is in one way and all the orange is in another way. So it's still blocks. But these blocks are actually having different graphics based on their orientation. Well, not their orientation, but, you know, based on orientation. Mine the treasures of orcs and find the passage to the trolls later. Oh, I've missed a scroll, too. That, that worries me. Need a green key. There we go. There's stuff. And we got the orc enemies now. We haven't seen those in this game yet. So rock on, rock on. They're, again, not difficult. Really no more difficult than they were in the previous game.
But there is more variety here. So... That's something. Just kind of means they put more artists to work. Here's the green key. Still looking for that green gem in the area. So I am kind of hesitant to just up and leave before I have that green gem. Hi guys. I'm gonna stand there and protect your stuff. Will I shoot you? So this is kind of unfair. There's only been one type of enemy that has the ability to shoot at ranged. Everything else needs to get within your range, and, well, you're a magician. You have fireballs. Yeah. I'm not getting knocked around as badly in this game as I was last night. That is very true. Hey, at least I did end last night on a positive note. So where is that green gem? There's another green key. Why are there two green keys on this map? Hi there. Odd to find two green keys. Three green keys. Without finding any green door. I mean, I've only found one green door so far. Well, if nothing else, I'm glad they eventually found a different theme for first-person shooters than trying to do roleplay game style stuff. Really, adding Nazis was just brilliant. Who says Nazis aren't good for anything? Nazis are fantastic to shoot at. Okay, where am I going? What have I missed? I think I missed my exit somewhere. Try to keep my left hand on the wall here. But I think there was a corner that I didn't quite get into. Yeah, because this is where I just was. Still no green gym either, which makes me unhappy. Ah, here we go. Now we're back to the entrance. Don't, don't forget the green gem. Got to find it. Okay, used a green key. See, these things really can't even hurt you if you just sit in a corner and jam the buttons. Just 
which makes this whole thing kind of pointless. Okay, I don't want to go down there yet. I don't think I want to go down there yet. Is that... Okay, so that's not the end of the level. Still gotta look for that green gem. Don't want to leave this level without it. So there's the end of the level. But... Where's the gym? That's why you need the three keys also. Well, I'm going to save it here, but I'm going to keep looking for that gym real quick. Left hand roll, rule and shoot everything. I don't know what happens if I don't have the gems. I don't know what happens if I do have the gems. Get Sonic the Hedgehog flashbacks, man. Gotta have all those Chaos Emeralds. Because this could very well be one of those games where it goes, Oh, you didn't do that. Tough luck. Gonna have to go through the whole game again because you didn't get the right ending. I sure don't want to do that right now. I'd rather not rise of triad this at the moment. I'm not finding anything. That's bad. Okay, well, there's someone new popped up. There we go. Something new popped up. What is this? How did I miss all this? Protected. There's the green gym. There's a shot one of the treasure chests, too. Da 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 da. One gym to go. Let's get out of here. I actually do have auto fire for my mouse if I really wanted to use it, but now nah, I'm going old school. Keyboard only. Now I'm lost again. Isn't that where I got stuck before trying to get out? Tight corners, rounding them. Should be on my way out now. 
I just made a loop back to this. Awesome. There we go. So there's two separate ones of these. Right. That's what was screwing me up. Because this is the troll gate access. This is where I need to go. There we go. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. Now we're good. Now let's go fight some trolls. The lair of the troll. Let's see what we can do here. Save. A lot more graphics options in this, which does take more memory. One of the reasons there aren't so many in other games. There's the troll. Hi there, big guy. You guys are a friendly lot, aren't you? Damaging blows. Uh-oh. Oh, we got this happening again. No, it cleared up. No, it didn't clear up. What is it about the troll corpses that causes the game to glitch out? It's like if a troll corpse dies in a certain place, or if a troll dies in a certain place, the game just glitches. As if it has a big memory leak. Okay, so we're good so far. Like, what is it? If two of them die on top of each other, do they start fighting? Still good. Oh, that's a lot of them. And now it's crashed. Why? What is it about the trolls that does this? And I have 99 nukes as well. And now it's fine. So it's, it's probably not even troll corpses. It's probably something with the living ones that screws it up. And it stops them from moving. Prepare yourself for the brutish troll and fear the demon's wrath that follows. The demon's wrath is probably the fact that the game stops working. Oh, time stopped. Alright, well, let's kill these things. Or not. Are they not affected? See, that might be what's going on right there. These two are on top of each other. Like they're in the same square. That might be what's breaking the game. Oh, I can't... I can't shoot. Because time has stopped. Yeah, you see that? As soon as the time unstopped, boom! All the fireballs came out. Okay. That's interesting. Means I can't really pick that up because I gotta shoot walls and explore. Oh, these passages are more hidden than the previous ones. Not really appreciative of that.
Hope we're getting close to the end here. I don't have that much time left today. Pathway of Brutality. Anyone back here? No. Oh, the Byway of Brutality. Lovely. What a name. That one didn't last very long. Were those hidden chambers up there? No, they weren't. I do like the fact that they have the different sides on the walls based on north, west, or east, no, north, south, east, west, bleh, words. Words are hard! That, what, the exit down here? Don't even care if I blow that up. I've got max of them anyway. All that's left are potions. Keys, I guess. That was one that I blew up, huh? I don't have a lot of health. Like, some of them drop really fast, and some of them seem to take forever. It's weird. Alright, that's taken care of. Keep going. Here in the Gallery of Horror! With no paintings. It's more horrible when we were in the... Hall of the Nemesis paintings. Entry to the torture chamber. Use the yellow key to get into there. This game really is just easy mode. It's kind of sad, to be honest. Okay, passes to the Demon's Inferno. Well, there's those demons. Those take a lot of hits. <sighs> Just that one so far. Fire-breathing walls of hell. Like I said, these take a lot of hits. Can't hurt me, but... Okay, these pulsing walls are going to get to me. Hey, skeletons, I haven't seen you guys in a while. What are you doing down here in hell? More treasure that I don't need. Because at this point, I'm almost maxed out on even the health potions. Remember, this is the warrior difficulty. This is the harder difficulty I'm playing it on. There are two difficulties, novice and warrior. Oh 
almost should use the zapper on these guys just because of how many of them I have. But then, why? Because every shot stuns them and I can rapid fire. No, that was three of them attacking me. Will any of them be able to hit me? Or can I stand in the corner? Oh, I got hit! I got hit! They actually managed to do some damage! Amazing! Had to use one health potion there. That was that was scary. It's very frightening. I don't know how I made it. Three of them attacking me again. Click, 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 bam. Yeah, um, mm, mm, that, that was scary. I was, I was very afraid there for my life. That group didn't even hit me. I couldn't see the one attacking me. It was right on top of me. I just had to sit there and wait until my fireballs actually started going forward again. So this is it, Shareware Adventure, oh, or the Shareware episode of Catacomb Adventure. Does it make you want to buy the game? I mean, entirely honest, if I was playing this back on my Tandy 1000, I would probably be happy. This is better than the games I was playing on that thing. Okay, I'm actually getting annoyed at these things. Not because they're dangerous, but because they're bullet sponges. And I'm not a big fan of bullet sponges. This is just a waste of time. Ha -dee -da, -dee -da, -dee -da, -dee -da, -dee da Now it's dead. I do wonder if this would have played on a trash or a, not a trash eighty, obviously, but on a Tandy one thousand. Might not actually be Tandy compatible. Uh, C60, uh, Commodore 64, yeah. That was a good first computer. I, I, st I cut my teeth on a Trash 80. So. The Tandy was the second computer we had. And that's where a bulk of my formative gaming years were. And most of the games that I do for the show are actually bit older than that, or a bit younger than that one. You know, we're talking more of the uh, 486 DOS era games. Usually. I wanted to take a look at this older game because... Well... Maybe not this one in particular, but the one before it is historic. 
And even this one, we are getting to see some of the early origins of first-person shooters. Why they are the way they are. No, screw this. Z. See, and even pressing Z doesn't really do much. It's just an auto-fire for a short amount of time. It's not like it even kills one of them. You can kill them faster just by pressing the button. It's on top of me. I can't see the graphics. It has merged with me. I'm just waiting until the fireballs... There we go. Waiting until the sound stops and the fireballs go forward. Okay. Next area. Battleground of the Titans. I do want to say a reminder. This game, this bundle, this entire set of Catacomb games is on GOG. The keys to your situation lie in the grips of death. Well, thank you. Yes, the way behind me is blocked, but it doesn't matter because I can just go into this hole and be mostly safe, mostly. Still have 85 healing potions, so you guys aren't that frightening. You know, I bet I can get through there with my yellow key that I've got left over. I bet I can just walk right in there right now and not have to worry about the rest of this level. Oh! Okay. Well, that's a whole lot of not fun looking. Turned on the auto click on the mouse. That's actually making things worse. So. That didn't work. Uh, you can stop now. There we go. That just made it worse. So you know what? There's a key. This is... What is the point of this? I can just hide here, smash this button. Sure, I'll take some damage. But if I keep an eye on that, and hit spacebar every time I hit 9, I'll be good. So I got one more hit in me. Boom, cure. I can do this 84 more times, guys! 84 more times! That was fun. Oh, there's a time stop back there also. Nice. Oh, well. well that one's taken care of. I got a red key.
just to make sure. Doesn't look like any of the other walls broke. And we got the same thing going on over here. Trolls. Remember, 87 this time. 87 times I'm going to be able to avoid this. Da, 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 there you guys are. Oh, shit, they're trolls. Trolls can actually slow the game down. Forgot about that. And these guys don't even hit as hard as the other ones, so... And they die faster. That was it! That was tough. Oh look, another key. Yay. Oh, that was fun. But I guess this means I can't skip this because it's needed red keys, not yellow. Final gate of the... crash, apparently. Well, shit. Try that again without the crashing, hopefully. Now we got our first crash of Catacomb. Yay! That would not have made me want to buy the game. Now I wish I'd saved it after defeating all those things. Hmm. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open both walls, go hit one of the time stops. Game, where are you? There you are. Yeah, I'm going to open both walls, hit a time stop, grab the keys, go through the doors and just not bother with the fighting. Time stop, time stop. Where are you, time stop? There we go. This is probably what you're supposed to do. Oh, no, I can't get to this one? No, there we go. There we go. No problem. Oh, you know what? I forgot to open this door. So I got 38 seconds worth of fireballs I can cast. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's back out and watch this. Boom! Well, that didn't work. Okay, let's see if it crashes again. Use the red key. Coven of Mages. No crash! Woohoo! Chamber of Five Magic Gates. Would you look at that? One, two, three, four, 
F oh no, no, don't tell me I need the key. Don't tell me I need all five of the gemstones for this. First magic gate. Citadel of the Mages. The evil nemesis lies beyond the tangled web of mages. Alright. These guys can actually hurt, so... What is that? Is there an... Oh, it's an eyeball! Oh! Oh, those things can actually hurt, too. They throw a lot of fireballs at you. Throw a lot of something, anyway. Not that those do any damage! And these hidden passages, not very hidden, not anything behind... Oh, wait, there was something behind it. Oh, well. First return gate. Second magic gate. Pink eye, yes. The enemy was pink eye. I agree, Xanth. Okay, so nothing here. There's nothing on this one, so what the hell? What is the point of the five gates then? Because there's nothing else here that I can see. There was nothing at the other one. Am I doing these in the wrong order? No, two, three. Empty chamber before the altar. I have a feeling I'm supposed to get keys from those other four gates to use here. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm supposed to get keys behind the four other gates and use them there. Fourth gate. There's a key. course a key in the color that I already had so that didn't really matter any go to the fifth gate We get face to face with the ugly there. The long passages of discipline. This probably means stop shooting the walls, you idiot. But why would I ever stop shooting walls? Oh no, you'll blow up the treasure if you do that. Hey, a key. So those were the, quote, long passages. You can tell how long those were. But yeah, two keys from two areas, which makes me think that I missed the keys in the others. Where the heck am I? There we go. Let's go back. Alright, let's check these two again for keys.
Yeah, it's entirely possible I missed a key behind one of those. Although I am not seeing one. I see no sign of a key in these first two. No, I have no idea. So let's hope I don't have to get four keys, because I only see two. Let's go back to the middle gate and see what happens. Use the red key. Point of decision. Chamber of Final Prayers. The name like that, I want to save. Altar of the Seeing Eye. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's one behind me still. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Bump, bump, bump. Hidden passage. Passage to the inner sanctum. Let's go that way. Find out. You've arrived at the inner sanctum. Well, this either is going to be the end of the game or it isn't. All I know is the walls are currently exploding. So, it's kind of frightening. The first circle. Just let me fight. Oh, hi there, big demon. These are the ones from the first game. Just bullet sponges, that's all. Second circle. Oh, back to the inner circle, I guess. Whoops. Um, there we go. The insufferable ways of pain. Someone had a lot of fun with these names. There we go. I have maxed out the pickups. I really hope this game ends soon. I'm running up on the end of my time. Yeah, screw it. There's that key I've been holding on to forever. I'll skip part of this level with the bullet sponges. Sure. Especially since it looks like we're getting toward the end here. You need a red key. Well, damn. Here I was hoping. Yes, I ain't going to skip anything. These are very distracting walls. I don't know why they would use the you found a secret wall graphics for the actual wall. You need a green key. Lovely. I need keys now. Well, the only walls that I'm going to really be able to... Nope. Guess I'm not going to be able to shoot that. There we go. Skeletons.
There's a yellow key. Hey, look! It's the key I already used! There's the green key. Green key will hopefully help me find the uh, red key. So let's go back here where the green key was needed. Used a green key. Oh, I think I see a red key up there. So you're supposed to panic in this room and run backwards and try to dodge these things and try to get away. And how are you supposed to fight them? How are you supposed to fight them? Oh, you, you can just stand still and shoot very quickly. Okay. Oh, I actually got hit. There we go. So where's that red key? There we oh, Jesus! Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go back to this. Stand here. Oh, this game needs to end soon. I have to take off. Wasn't paying attention. Great. How far back am I now? I have the green key. Great. Lovely. Wonderful. More button mashing. Well, at least now you guys got to see what a uh, game over screen looks like in this game. I saw something in there I want to get to. If I can get past. Not going to let me past, are you? No. There we go. Alright. Well, this is going to be fun. Gonna drop a minute's worth of fireballs right here and see what happens. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna break the game. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one, come on, let's go! Boom! That nuked one of them anyway. Hurts my fingers. So there's where the yellow key was needed again. Well, given I'm still at one yellow key, I guess I must have picked up two somewhere? I don't know. Oh, come on. I need this game to be over.
I, I don't have time to deal with bullet sponges like this right now. This game is longer than the previous one. But it's being artificially long thanks to these things. There's one behind me. That's going to just sit there and keep hitting me. Because I can't get to him because he's behind me. But i got to deal with all these ones in front of me. I can't move past him because he's got me blocked. So I'm going to be using up a whole bunch of those health potions that I have. See, now I'm trapped between two of them. There we go. Oh, come on! What? Oh, Jesus. Am I all the way back at the green key again? For fuck's sake. This is really awful. I might actually have to stop this game. Here I am, this close to the last level. I might have to stop it just because I don't have time to do this right now. Just because... And there's no reason for it. These enemies really aren't difficult. They're just bullet sponges. They just take too long to kill. That's the only reason. As you see, they're not dangerous. I say as they've killed me several times. Save it up here. So like at best, I've got ten more minutes. That's the timer. If it does end up that I don't have enough time to finish this today... I will finish it to... Okay, so there's the other yellow key. I will finish it tomorrow as I start the second part. Now, the game hacked XCOM 2 and got info from The Chosen? Yeah, maybe, maybe. I just, this is annoying... These things aren't difficult, it's just time consuming. All I need is a red key. Where the hell is the red key? It's probably right in there. Oh, come on, finish this, finish this, finish this. See, they're not even hurting me now. If I can back into the corner without one behind me, back into this area, I can get them one at a time, and they can't get me. Because I can shoot faster than their stun lock, or faster than their stun recovery. There we go. There's a red key. These guys I don't even worry about. I mean, look at that. They did, what, two damage to me? The whole lot of them? Oh. 
one managed to sneak behind me in the Chamber of Ultimate Doom. This does not look like Ultimate Doom to me. That was a much later game, and better than this. Okay, we are getting close to the end. This better be the last freaking level. Doorstep of the Nemesis. And it crashed! Oh my god! Oh, this game really doesn't want me to finish it. It wants me to hate it. Really wants me to hate it. Come on, get back to the freaking game so I can get going. I thought I'd save after I got to the next level. No, 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 just... Good, back for more, I see. Yes, thank you, ne Nemesis. I, I would love to actually, you know, finish this and kill you! The game is unstable. Screw you guys. Screw all of you guys. Boom. And now I can't get to it because these things are in the way. See, a whole bunch of them just drop dead, but these guys are still alive, so I gotta sit here and kill them and waste my damn time again! I would almost kill for a cheat code right now. There's no point in having enemies that take this many hits, it just isn't. This is obscene. Oh, but they're tough. Yeah, you know, this would be better if there weren't so many of them. I don't mind having enemies that are difficult, but when you make them basic enemies and fill a map with them, now you've got problems, because this becomes a waste of time bullet sponge. And ain't nobody got time for that shit. Hurry up, get out of here. See if I can actually get to the next level without the game crashing again! Yes! Go this way, use the red key, you have arrived at the haunt of the Nemesis, thank you, let me save the game, and kill this thing, quickly. I'll give you my quick review of this. Uh, it's interesting. You guys have been hearing what I... Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. It's interesting. I like some of the stuff that they've done with it. The graphics, you know, for what they are... For, for 16 color graphics, these are actually quite impressive. So you do a lot with those colors. It's amazing what you can do with the limitations once you're used to them. Yet even... Oh, come on! Why? Why those things? Of all things, why more demons? It's like it was fine having the room full of the mages. That was okay. I had no problem with that. But no. No. Demons. Gotta have the room full of demons. There he is. There he is. Just nuke everything then. That's fine. Let's sit here and bash both magic. Oh, he's dead. Nemesis is dead. I got a red key. Way back to the surface. 
Yes, use the red key. Passage to the surface. Okay, is this game not over? Why are you giving me things? This is the passage to the surface game. Game, what's going on? Hall of Fallen Foes. Passage of Coveted Secrets. It's probably gonna tell me that since I don't have all five of the things, I'm done. See, use these devices with care. Press I to get items. F10 and G to be like a god. Press 10, 10 and W to warp to new places. Press F10 and Z to freeze time. Victors over evil learn secret knowledge. Three secret levels to warp to. F10 and I to get items. Well, there's the cheat codes I was wondering about. You know, I actually have no problem with that. I kind of like that. It's like, hey, you've beaten the game. Here, now cheat. Oh, okay. Is there more stuff? I think that's it, because I'm not seeing anything else here. And I do really have to go anyway, so... Yeah, that was interesting. I'll play the other one. Oh, oh, we got more stuff over this way. The way out. Good. I've definitely seen worse games than this. It's got some interesting elements to it. But a request of you. Are you up for some more adventuring? Let us know or write to us at... Thanks. So there was the advertisement. Your latest victory over Nemesis surpasses your previous feats. For Shadows, your next challenge, Catacombs Armageddon, is nigh at hand. Victory over Nemesis shall be told to all. Passes to the surface, the way home at last. Remember, this was the Shareware episode. You've emerged from the Catacomb. Yay! As a conqueror and valiant warrior. There we go. That was it. I did it. Don't have the last gem. Don't have the third scroll. But whatever. Game's done. Yeah, it, this was the Shareware episode that they released for free. Of course, that's what Shareware was. And there were the other two episodes. This one took place in the past. The second one, which I'll get to tomorrow, hopefully, if I don't have any more freaking appointments cutting me off, will be um, the one that takes place in the present, unquote. And the last one takes place in the future. It's going to be interesting to see those two. But yeah, it, the early first-person shooters, they were trying to do dungeon crawlers. That was just what the other early games were, so they went, hey, dungeon crawlers, hey, let's do one of these in real time. Before the people at id finally went, ah, guns! Instead of magic. And thus, first-person shooters were born. I'd love to stick around, but I really do have to go. I hope you've enjoyed. Take care and enjoy the games you played. The games you play. Blah, 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 blah. Gotta go.